ready to hear about that. Oh, I'm ready. Now, it's going to be hard to explain to you. Oh, I'll understand. Where do babies come from? The stork. What stork? The stork. It's a special stork. All babies come from the same stork? Yep. He has rocket feet. They propel him at speed so great that he doesn't age. He's like God, but he eats herring. Well, where did he get the rocket feet from? The future. He's a cyborg stork, and whenever he wants to deliver babies into the past, he just travels faster than the speed of light. You see, son, right now in the future, there's a war going on between stork and man. But man is winning because they invented this cyborg stork, and he keeps bringing babies back from the future, in the hopes that one of those babies will be our future ruler. Maybe it's you, son. Me, Daddy? Sure, you could be the human race's next messiah. You hate storks, don't you? I do now that I know we're in a future war with them. That a boy. <laughs> Daddy, why are we in a war with storks in the future? Because of you, son. Me, Daddy? It's true, son. I didn't want to tell you. You're going to grow up to be the sadistic emperor of an unwilling people. They'll have no choice because you'll time your global coup d'etat perfectly in the midst of a worldwide depression so huge that people are eating their own fecal matter. You'll create jobs by demanding that humans take on against the pretend threat of the stork. 
The people that oppose you will be murdered and buried in mass graves. You won't even spread lime on the graves because, as you'll profess to your fearing advisors, the stink of death is the only thing that brings true loyalty. Your regime of oppression will last 14 years. Then, in the year 2028, in the streets of what is now Chicago, a group of communist peasants will hunt you down. They'll cut out your liver with a dull sickle. Letting you live long enough to watch them feed it to the very storks you tried to exterminate. I have to go to work now, son. Enjoy your youth while you can. And remember, if your mother tells you to pick up your room, don't give her any flack or I'll expose you for the Antichrist you really are. You're right, I wasn't ready for that, Dad. <laughs> son, I'm just kidding. The boy takes his wee-wee and he puts it in the girl's wee-wee. But you're not allowed to do it until you get older, okay? I thought so. That's what they told me at school. 